Here are some eyeliner secrets that no one is talking about that's guaranteed to have you looking pretty. Hi, it's Crystal, your very own personal beauty pro. When I say I'm a beauty pro, I actually am a professional working makeup artist. Primary work is in what's called commercial or advertising. I also do editorial, the type of work you would see in ads and magazines. And I've done many a New York Fashion Week runway show. In addition to doing what I love, one of the things I absolutely love is sharing those pro tips, tricks, and secrets with you. Whatever your reason for watching, I want you to leave feeling uplifted and pretty. Today we're going to talk about what might seem to be one of the most simple makeup products, but also one of the most game-changing, and that is eyeliner. I'm going to share with you some eyeliner basics and application tips and considerations that a lot of people don't mention often. It's going to take your look to the next level of pretty. So here we are with no eyeliner on. One of the most important secrets you could ever know about eyeliner is this. Be intentional when applying it. Be intentional, be on purpose. And here's why I say that. Eyeliner, most people would think it's easy, right? It's one of the first things like young girls play with in addition to lip gloss and lipstick. And even for non-makeup wearers per se, eyeliner is still one of the things most people appreciate enhances the appearance. But, however, sometimes people know that they should put it on, but they're not intentional about where or how they put it on. Many people, sometimes in a hurry or just out of routine, just put the eyeliner on the lash line and hope for the best with no regard to where the placement is, how they want their eye to look that day, and things of that nature. So these tips will help with that and help you to get the most flattering polished eyeliner looks that really enhance your appearance. The first thing to decide is how you want your eyes to look. Are you enhancing your natural eye shape so you want a classic look that's good for day or evening and with any eyeshadow? Do you want something a little bit more intense, a little bit more formal, a little bit more drama? Do you want your eyes to sweep up, to have an appearance of sweeping upwards or outwards? Do you want to minimize the appearance of the eye or do you want the eye to look slightly more awake? Those are the things that will determine where and how you place your eyeliner. So it's not just a matter of just swiping it in that lash line and hoping for the best. Let's talk about tools. Today we're going to focus on pencil eyeliner because that's the best overall style and I prefer a long wearing gel type of pencil eyeliner. So those go on creamy and intense and then they set in place so they don't get as smudgy or fade as quickly as a coal eye pencil. I do like coal eye pencils but the thing about those is they're intense and soft and smudgy and you can smoke them out but they don't really set in place so you do need to tap on a little eyeshadow in the same color as the eye pencil if you want longevity. Also a teensy bit of eye primer, a quality eye primer, not just any eye primer, will also grab your shadow and make it last. A q-tip which is something else you should always have on hand, a cotton swab whenever you're doing your liners. You can put a teensy bit of long wear eye primer on a cotton swab and put it on the lash line and that will help grab and hold the liner as well. So you want to have your cotton swabs on hand, a really nice long wear eyeliner pencil, and usually they'll say long wear or water resistant, gel liner, things of that nature. Always, always, always a sharpener if it's the sharpening kind. Always sharpen your makeup pencils before every single use. I promise you, you will see a difference in the payoff and the glide. It just makes such a difference. So have a quality sharpener. And have a paper towel, preferably something a little textured because if you have the kind that doesn't sharpen but turn up, always shave your pencil a bit 
on the paper towel. A couple of other things you can have on hand is a eyeliner brush because believe it or not a nice angle brush is not just for gel liner in a pot or creams or liquids. A good quality pencil can also be used with an angle brush so you can actually load up your angle brush from the pencil and you can apply your liner like that. It gives you more control and more flair. And then I also like to have a pencil brush on hand. This can soften and smoke and really refine the line and make it look really polished and pretty. And today I'm gonna to be featuring one of my favorites, which is the Pat McGrath Extreme Black. And we're starting with it freshly sharpened, of course. And one of the things I want you to determine is where you're going to place your liner. Are you going to place it on the waterline and in the lash? line and underneath or are you going to choose one or the other that's one of the things I see a lot of times people because they throw it on there's a little on the the waterline there's a little on the lash line or vice versa and the line itself tends to be kind of a little you know a little uneven if you put it on the waterline and the lash line you get the most definition if you put it on just the lash line you have a slightly more wide-eyed appearance so I'm going to show you how they look on my right eye I'm going to start by putting eyeliner on the lash line only some people still are not quite sure the difference between the waterline and the lash line the waterline is the pink inner rim close to the whites of your eyes it's also the same on the upper eye there's your regular lash line which is where the lashes grow from but the inner pink rim is the water line i feel like you always want to line that upper water line even if you don't put liner on the actual top line a lot of people don't want to put it on the skin of the upper eye because they want to save that lid real estate and make the upper eye appear larger and that's just fine but you still want to define the upper lash line first thing is to place the liner in the water line of the upper lash line. This is routine regardless of the look you're going for because it just keeps that part from being naked and looking bare and taking away from your appearance. To do that, you don't have to do anything elaborate or cause your eyes to water or anything like that. Just softly take the pencil and wiggle a little at a time. Instead of trying to draw one straight line, just sketch, gently wiggle, and when it's a good pencil, it's intense enough to look really good without a lot of pressure. So you take that and you just wiggle it until you have basically colored in the entire waterline of the upper lash line. Even with a small eye, which I myself have, I still recommend also wiggling it in the base of the lashes itself to add intensity so you've done the water line now you want to do the lash line the lash line is where you put the pencil into the base where the lashes are growing from and you darken that too so you get the effect of the enhancement but you don't take away your lid space now before that has had time to set sometimes some from the upper will travel to the lower all you have to do is take a cotton swab and just clean up that lower line, make it nice and clean. So on this eye, we're going to start with just a lower lash line enhancement. So that's where you are focused on right below where the lashes grow. And you can go from inner corner all the way to outer corner. You can start where your natural lashes first start appearing. So wherever that first natural lash appears, which is usually not all the way to the inner corner, it is for some people, you can start right there. That's what I'm going to do today. And just wiggle and sketch. Instead of trying to draw a straight line, just do a connect the dots or dashes line. That'll give you a nice clean tidy line i'm focusing on i'm not getting any in the water line so i'm just connecting the dots and the dashes there i already have a light 
dash of mascara and I do already have on a natural upper lash. I'm gonna end all the way to the outer corner. Now you do always wanna complete your line. It's so much more flattering when you go to the full outer corner. If anything gets a little too low or if anything gets on the pink or waterline, that's your opportunity to clean it up with the cotton swab. And that's a nice classic eyeliner look. And that's also when I like to take a nice pencil brush and just gently soften the liner. And this looks really pretty. Now with these long wear pencils, you have a limited time to blend, so you do wanna go in relatively soon after application. So that's one eye with a nice classic lash line application. The other eye is not done on the lower lash line just yet. Now, you may have seen this technique before where people take a lighter color like a flesh tone or a cream color and go on the waterline to give that pop to the eye. It's a really pretty effect. It goes back to old Hollywood. I'm using the Patrick Ta Cream Liner. You want to tilt the pencil slightly up so that the pencil is coming down on an angle toward the eye. That will prevent you from getting it on the black lower lash line and muddying up the look. But don't worry about it too much because you can always clean it up with a Q-tip. You can also do, if your hand is not as trained or steady, you can do the cream first on the waterline and then you can do the black. So that's it with a bit of the cream on the water line, and that's the difference in the two eyes. And just a note, I said I would let you know how I like these Patrick Ta liners when I haul them in a recent video. They are pretty, they glide on pretty, they have a nice color payoff, and they have a nice long wear. What I did notice, at least with this cream one, is that the whole pencil kind of falls out a bit, so be cautious with how you use it. I don't know if that's a fluke with mine or if that's the tendency of the formula to shrink back from the component. Also, I noticed that although it is long wear, it is not quite the level of quality as the Pat McGrath. The other eye, I'm going to do the inner waterline with black. And again, a freshly sharpened pencil, and you want to come down at a slight angle so that you really focus on the waterline only. Now, this is a look I would do when I want a little intensity. I just want a more striking eye. And even though an eye is small, and this will make it smaller, I don't have a problem with intensifying different things about the face. So I'm not opposed to closing up a small eye and making it more exotic, whereas some people don't want to do that. And because the pencil will pick up a bit of moisture because you are on your water line, it is good to wipe the pencil off completely so that it's dry and fresh, and then go in with a second layer. So this is the eye with the inner water line lined only. And then next we'll also add the lash line itself. And again, just connect the dashes or the dots instead of trying to draw one solid line. So I'm going to clean out the cream that's on the inner water line of this eye. I'll add the black and so we'll have both eyes matching and we'll wrap it up. So let's close out with some of my favorite eyeliners at the moment. This first one is Costa Riche. Costa Riche is a nice warm chocolate brown. It's a cold formula from MAC. So that means that colds are intense, but they're also more smudgy and they don't necessarily set in place. So I set these with a little brown or black eyeshadow. Another fabulous cold by MAC is Feline. It's a really beautiful jet black. Feline is probably one of the blackest. For long wear, I've been talking about this Pat McGrath Extreme Black for a while, and I have multiples of these. It's a rich black, although Feline, I think, has it be, it might be a little blacker. I do love that brown Costa Riche by MAC, but I think if I had to say a favorite brown of the moment, it is Black Coffee by Pat McGrath. Thanks to Pat McGrath and her team, they sent this over when they sent over a few other goodies, and I am permanently hooked on this. So when I found out how fabulous the Pat McGrath formula is, I also got Blitz 
blue. And this was a very nice surprise. This is a Chanel eyeliner. This is their waterproof eyeliner and the shade is called Cichet and it looks like the word Psyche. That's a beautiful burgundy eyeliner when you want to do something a little different. So those are some of my time-tested eyeliner tips and tricks that are guaranteed to have your look polished and pretty. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in a video very soon. But until we meet again, keep it pretty.